Hi to any kids and parents who are watching this video. My name is Jim Mamer. I've been teaching middle school math for 32 years. And the purpose of this video is to help any kids in grades three on up to improve their multiplication skills. During my time as a kid growing up in schools and also for most of my career as a teacher, I used traditional flashcards like the ones we're looking at here below, um, where there's really not a lot of emphasis on making sense of numbers. Um, we're just asking kids to try to memorize things. I did this for most of my career and I feel kind of bad about it now. Asking kids to use traditional flashcards like I did for most of my career is not allowing kids to see the understanding of mul the multiplication process and the many ways that multiplication problems can be solved. Fortunately, we have wonderful people like Joe Bowler and Graham Fletcher who have invented cards that allows kids to build meaning from things that they see on the card that actually turn into multiplication facts that we do want kids to understand. The next portion of this video is going to show one way that Graham Fletcher's cards could be used with kids and or families to practice uh, seeing number relationships that will turn into multiplication facts. This is a sample of five of Graham Fletcher's cards and one way these could be used is to try to figure out the total number of dots that are on a card and without counting the dots one by one. So for example, on the first card here, um, you could see that there's five dots per dice and that there are seven of these on the card. So you could say one way to get the solution for total dots would be five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five more which is 35 total dots you could also see it as seven groups of five dots per card which is still a total of 35 dots and another way to notate this would be to say that it was seven times five which was still 35 total dots and then I also like to write seven parenthesis five which is still 35 total dots. We'll look at this card next. Um, one way to get the solution for the total dots is you could see that there are six dots per die. So you could say six plus six plus six, which is a total of six, 12, 18 dots. Or you could write it as a groups of statement. There are three groups of six dots per die, which would still be 18 dots. And we could write those number sentences like we did before. We could say that we have three uh, times six, which is 18 total dots. Or we could notate it this way, three with parentheses and the six inside of the parentheses, which still means three groups of six dots per die, which is still 18 dots. You could hit pause now and try to do the three remaining cards the same way that we've done these, where you're trying to find the groups of statement, uh, the repeated addition sentence, and then turning this into multiplication sentences also. I have really enjoyed challenging kids as they get better and better with these cards. I've, had, I've really enjoyed trying to challenge them to find uh, different patterns for how they're seeing the total dots on a card. We, one cent, number sentence we could write would be seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven, which equals 35 total dots. And another way we could write that is that this is five groups of seven dots, which would be still total 35. And another way we could write that is five times seven. And then also another type of notation we could put, 5 parentheses 7, which would still mean we're doing 5 times the quantity of 7, which is still 35 total dots. So now we're going to try to look at it some other ways. A child might look at this and say, you know what, Mr. Mamer, I saw two dice that had 7 dots on each one, so I did 2 times 7. And then I found another set of two dice that had seven dots on each die. And I knew I was gonna to have to add those amounts together. And then I still also had to add on the one group of seven uh, dots on the last die. 
And if we do this, it's going to be 14 plus 14 plus 7, which will still be a total of 35 dots. Then we can ask the child or help the child see that um, there were seven dots on each one of those die, but there were still a total of five die, and it's shown up here by the two groups of seven plus the next two, two groups of seven plus the one group of seven. And this is still equivalent to 35 dots on the die. It's just different ways to notate it. What we're highlighting here is the distributive property, um, which comes into play in sixth grade and on forever after that in mathematics. We use it all the time in lots of ways, even when we don't know we're doing it. Um, uh, the actual formats would be called uh, expanded form, would be this form, and this would be called factored form. I'm not so, con not so concerned about the vocabulary words as allowing kids the chance to muck around with this stuff and try to see it on cards. So we're going to try another one like this. On the next card, uh, I was going to have us look at it and say, we could say we see one, two, three, four. Maybe the child only look at the four outer die, and it's four groups of seven dots, plus we would still have the one group of seven left that we have to add to that. So four times seven is 28 dots, plus the one group of seven, seven more dots, still a total of 35 dots. And then I could think about that again. I could say, well, there were seven dots per die, but instead of looking at a total of five die, I looked at it as four dice plus one more die. Again, we're highlighting uh, the expanded form and the factored form for those sentences. Another way a child might have looked at it, they might have looked at each of the die and say, um, I'm not real good at working with the number seven. So maybe they cross off one die or one dot on each die and say, so now I see five groups of six die, six dots, and I'm going to add that to, I need to add that to the ones that I took away. So I took away uh, five groups of one. So five times six is 30 plus the five groups of one, which would be 35 total dots. So in this situation, I have five groups of dots again. And instead of looking at it as seven dots on each die, I broke that down into six dots plus one more dot on each one of those die. So I had five groups of six plus one. And in the end, that still equals 35 total dots on the die. And then one last way here. Um, somebody might, there's, there's so many ways that kids come up with how to look at these things, but another way you could look at it is to say, I filled in all the dice um, with the rest of their dots because I wanted to work with nines for some reason. So then I did five groups of nine dots per die, and then I needed to subtract five groups of two dots per die. So I had 45 total dots and I needed to take away 10 dots and I still get 35 total dots. So this would still be the expanded form just like it was in all of our other ones. Um, and now we could try to write the factored form for this which would we could do by saying we knew we had five groups again but in this case instead of the original number was supposed to be seven dots and we renamed that seven by writing it as nine dots take away two dots. And again, the answer would still be 35 total dots. If you would like to do more work with Graham Fletcher's cards, there's lots of ways you can do this. The red site that's shown below has a downloadable, printable set of Graham Fletcher's cards. Um, there's also at this site a Google slideshow that a teacher that saw Graham's stuff went and made a Google slideshow of all the cards and also shows solutions so you don't need to print anything out. You can also go to this site below and see Graham Fletcher working with his third grade daughter uh, on these cards in a wonderful way. I hope this video has been helpful for you.